Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. We're going to talk about this horse that just came in. Uh, he came in for training. When he came off the trailer, it was obvious to me immediately there was something wrong with him. And the owner and I have, have talked about a plan. He's actually pretty seriously sick. I'm going to show you what the owner and I saw that led us to follow up with getting a vet out and look at him. And then I'll tell you what the vet's diagnosis was and the treatment plan. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how this all started. He came in uh, for training was the plan and he trailered in almost six hours. He trailered in from a pretty good ways. He has been trailered a lot in his life but not, never that long. So by far it was a lot longer trailer ride than he was used to but he's used to being trailered. So other than the length it really wasn't anything different when he came in he, he was groomed really nice he's clipped it's obvious that the owner has been taking care of him it's not like he was just out in the pasture and the owner just grabbed him and brought him in so it's obvious that the owner has been interacting with this horse on a regular basis i'm going to go a little bit more into that in a little bit when he first came off the trailer one thing that i noticed right away was how weak he looked in the back end and he looks underweight in the back end but when you look at the front end the front end is okay i can feel his ribs he's, he's not he could use a little bit of weight right here but not bad his weight in the front is good and as you work towards the back it kind of deteriorates towards the back my initial thought when he first came off the trailer was, well, he just hasn't been worked and he doesn't have much muscle tone. But this actually is a symptom and part of how the diagnosis went. The owner said that he has been fine. I'm gonna show you him moving in just a minute. The owner said he's been moving fine, no problems. But when he got off the trailer, I'll show you what I saw. So I'll, lead him, I'll lead him away from you and then I'll lead him back to you. Watch how he supports himself as I'm pulling, pulling him around, bending him around. It's obvious this horse has been handled a lot in his life. I think she said he was six, I believe. I'm not sure. So put in the comments below, watching him move, what do you think his problem is? What do you think, what do you suspect? I'll tell you in a minute what the vet said when the vet came out. Hear him dragging his toes when he walks. So initially, when the owner and I first looked at him, moved him around, my initial thought was sore stifle, a sore hip. He did trailer a long time. Maybe he had fallen in the trailer. Uh, maybe he got knocked around in the trailer for whatever reason. But then after looking at him more and watching him move overall, I got the idea that really wasn't the issue. So I got the vet out. Uh, I don't remember what day he came in. I think he originally came in on a Thursday. I called the vet on a Friday and the vet was out here Monday morning to look at him. And we did some function tests just like this. And the vet's diagnosis is EPM. EPM is, it's actually a word about this long. I'll put it down here in the bottom, the full name if you're not familiar with it. If you want to follow along with his treatment plan and his status, make sure you like and subscribe. 
and that way you will get notifications when I have new videos come out and you can follow along on his recovery. You're not familiar with EPM. EPM is a, basically a microscopic parasite that affects the nervous system. I don't know about nationwide, but I do know in my part of the country that parasite is primarily found in possum feces. And what happens, that possum feces gets into hay or grain or what, wherever, and the horse ingests it, and then that parasite affects the nervous system. I think there are other carriers besides possums, but I know in my part of the country, possums are the prominent carrier. It's not contagious horse to horse. Horses are the, the end host and it doesn't leave the horse. The reason that the vet said that the owner didn't notice this situation previous before the horse came is he said a lot of horses have a mild case of EPM and you never really notice it. Uh, maybe the horse stumbles occasionally or might not do anything. It's just a low grade case in the horse's body and you just never notice it. But when you put the horse into a stressful situation, like with this horse's case, hauling him six hours, then that will make that, uh, that will make the EPM flare up. So that was the vet's explanation as to why the owner didn't notice it. The horse has been groomed, the horse has been taken care of. So it's not like she hasn't had her eyes and hands on the horse. I know, I know she has because I can see in his care that she has. So I believe that she, he has not had any symptoms until he got down here. I'm glad that I noticed it as soon as, we came off, as soon as he came off the trailer. It could have been that I might not have noticed it for a couple of days later if it was a milder case. I have had a couple of horses come in with EPM and in most situations it's a milder case than this and I'll notice it, the horse will be kind of stumbly on his front end. If I ask him to roll back against the fence or something, he'll kind of step on himself or he'll stumble on his front feet like he can't figure out where to put his feet. Or he'll be a little bit uh, weak in his back end. One of the common uh, diagnoses that vets do is they'll pull his tail and pull him to the side while someone's leading the horse forward. A horse naturally would resist that pull and he'll pull back. Where a horse with EPM and the back end is weak, he would let you pull that tail over. That's one of the common uh, diagnoses, or one of the common tools that vets use to diagnose EPM. I'm not going to do that here. It's obvious in his movement that he's weak in his back end. I talked to the owner, and the owner ordered the treatment that the vet recommended. I'm, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to say specifically what that treatment is because different cases of EPM are different and if you suspect that you have a horse with EPM, then you need to have your vet look at it and he needs to diagnose and give you a treatment plan. We're going with the treatment plan that my vet had prescribed for this horse. So the medicine, it came in, we started him on it. It is a, uh, a minimum of a 28 day regimen of medicine that he'll get every day. And at, we'll give him the medicine every day and I'm going to video him moving. We'll use this video as the beginning video of what his movement started out as and we'll show the progression as he gets the medication. I have dealt with this in the past. I, I typically get one or two horses in a year with EPM so I'm, I'm not totally unfamiliar with it. I've dealt with it before but nowhere near as much as what I, some other people have. So I, have, I do have some experience with EPM and some horses regain more muscle control because it's nervous system than others. So we're going to have to see, we're going to have to wait and see what he gains back, what he re does regain back. I do have him out in a paddock. I'm keeping him out there in a small paddock so he can move around. There's horses around him, but there's nothing else with him. That way that'll help stimulate him to move and help to regenerate those nerves, re regenerate that nerve condition. Uh, EPM basically attacks the nerves. In my experience, it generally attacks mostly the front, the front end or the back end. This horse, it seems to be mostly affecting the back end. 
and we're just going to going to treat him and we're going to see how it goes. If you want to follow along with his treatment plan and his status, make sure you like and subscribe and that way you will get notifications when I have new videos come out and you can follow along on his recovery. Until next time, thank you for watching.